Hi all, today we can see about a piezoelectric effect and inverse piezoelectric effect. Piezoelectric transducers are using in many of the technological applications. What is meant by transducer? Transducer is any device which convert one form of energy into another form. In ultrasonic sensor also the basic principle is this inverse piezoelectric effect. This piezoelectric effect was first discovered by Curie brothers in 1880. Perry Curie and Jacques Curie discovered this effect in 1880. What is meant by this piezoelectric effect in some asymmetric natural crystals like quartz, uh, rochelle salt, tourmaline, etc. If we apply pressure along certain direction, then electric charges are developed perpendicular to it. So here we can consider a quartz crystal. We are applying the pressure along this axis. Then equal and opposite charges are developed perpendicular to it. The axis along which we are applying the pressure is known as mechanical axis. And the charges are developed perpendicular to that axis. That axis is known as electrical axis. Now, if we change this pressure into tension, the polarity of the charges develop are reverse. Here on the top surface, we are getting these positive charges. When this pressure is changing to tension, instead of positive charges on that phase, we are getting the negative charge. This effect is known as piezoelectric effect. So what is piezoelectric effect? When certain asymmetric crystals like quartz, rochelle salt, tourmaline, etc. are subjected to pressure along a certain axis known as mechanical axis, then equal and opposite charges are developed perpendicular to it. That axis is the electrical axis. If we change the pressure to tension, the polarity of the charges developed is also reverse. Now, the inverse of this effect is also true. That effect is known as the inverse piezoelectric effect. So what is inverse piezoelectric effect? In this quartz crystal, we are applying a potential difference. So if a potential difference is applied along a certain axis, that is electrical axis of the crystal, then elongation or contraction will happen across a perpendicular axis. That axis is a mechanical axis. In piezoelectric effect, piezo that means to press, that is pressure is converting into electrical energy. Mechanical energy is converting into electrical energy. In inverse piezoelectric effect, this electrical energy is converting into the mechanical energy. Here in piezoelectric effect, the magnitude of the charges developed is directly proportional to the amount of the applied pressure. In piezoelectric effect, it is very important that we have to apply the pressure or tension along a certain axis that is known as a mechanical axis. What is meant by this mechanical axis? In natural crystals like quartz, quartz is in the form of a hexagonal prism with the two pyramids at the two ends. Any line joining the two ends of that pyramid in quartz crystal is a long axis that is a Z axis or it is known as the optical axis. Any line which is passing through the opposite corners of a hexagon that is known as the X axis or electrical axis. There is one more axis that is Y axis. This Y axis or mechanical axis is the axis which is perpendicular to any of these hexagonal edges and is passing through its midpoint. So in quartz crystal, we can define three axes. A line which is joining the two ends of the pyramid is the Z axis or optical axis that is a long axis. A line which is passing through the opposite corners of the hexagon that is known as the X axis or electrical axis. A line which is perpendicular to the hexagonal edge and is passing through its midpoint is the Y axis or mechanical axis. So it is very important that we have to apply the 
pressure along the mechanical axis that is the y axis then only we will get to the charges along the electrical axis what is happening here when we apply the pressure along the mechanical axis the length of the crystal will change when we apply the pressure the length of the crystal decreases instead if we apply the tension the length of the crystal increases this deformation in the crystal will produce the charges why in asymmetric crystals the atoms are not arranged symmetrically but the charges are balanced that is positive and negative center of charges are coinciding each other when we apply the pressure or tension this is producing a deformation in the crystal that is the length is changing then this positive and negative center of charges starts to separate this separation of the charges is producing the potential difference the converse of this effect is also true that is if we apply an electric field along the electrical axis then also this change in the length of the crystal we can observe here if you reverse the polarity of the charges what happen initially we have got the contraction on reversing the polarity of the charges this contraction will change to elongation now instead of a dc voltage if we are applying an ac voltage an alternating voltage very interesting phenomenon will occur that is in an ac voltage the direction is changing in each half cycle now the in the first half cycle the crystal will contract in the second half cycle the crystal will elongate and then in the next half cycle it will again contract that is the change in the crystal length will happen continuously that is decreasing in the length of the crystal increasing in the length of the crystal decreasing increasing decreasing increasing etc this decreasing increasing in the length of the crystal will continuous manner and it will produce the vibration that is sound waves this is the basic principle of the production of ultrasonic waves what is meant by ultrasonic waves ultrasonic waves are the waves which is having frequency greater than the audible range that is greater than 20000 hertz so here if we apply an ac voltage greater than 20 kilohertz then here we will get a ultrasonic waves we can apply a high frequency ac voltage here with the help of an lc circuit what is lc circuit it is a circuit made up of inductor and a capacitor then it can produce a frequency 1 by 2 pi root lc you have heard about this lc circuit that is a tank circuit lc circuit is used for producing oscillations the frequency of this uh, alternative voltage we can select by adjusting the values of this inductance and capacitance so we can uh, produce a high a uh, frequency ac voltage here with the help of an lc circuit if the frequency of this alternating voltage is matching with the natural frequency of this crystal the crystal will vibrate with the maximum amplitude that condition is known as resonance what is the natural frequency of a crystal that is equal to 1 by 2t into root of y by rho t is the thickness of the crystal y is the young's modulus of the crystal and rho is its density so for the production of ultrasonic waves we are applying an ac voltage which is having frequency greater than 20 kilohertz that ac voltage is produced with the help of an lc circuit when this ac voltage frequency is matching with the natural frequency of the crystal it is vibrating with the maximum amplitude by suitable cutting of the quartz crystal we can produce the ultrasonic waves of desired frequency here the young's modulus and density of the material is constant so by changing the thickness of the crystal we can produce the ultrasonic waves of desired frequency for that we have to select a very small thickness of the crystal because the frequency of the ultrasonic waves is high it is greater than 20 kilohertz so the uh, cutting of the crystal to a very small thickness is also a difficult process 
so instead of these natural crystals we are also using man made crystals like uh, lead zirconium titanate using such man made crystals also we can produce the ultrasonic waves okay so that's all about the uh, piezoelectric effect and the inverse piezoelectric effect thank you